Hey folks, welcome back. So in our uh, previous lectures, we learned how to do data driven testing in Cucumber with the help of scenario outline and examples. Uh, so in this particular example, we can see here that uh, we are trying to place an order for multiple pets. And in the process, we are doing uh, different steps over here. And we have different sets of data. So in this case, what used to happen was for every set of data, all these steps used to get executed. That means if for these two rows of data, all these steps were executed multiple times, that is two times. This is a, a case where we want, that is ideally we want this particular uh, scenario to execute twice. However, there can be certain cases where you don't want to execute all the steps every single time. Rather, you just want to execute until one point and then probably do some data driven testing on a single step and then continue further. So in order to achieve this, Cucumber provides us with a feature called as data tables. Uh, using this concept, we can basically achieve uh, data driven testing on a single step. So let's go ahead and see how to do that. So over here I've created a feature file called as uh, data table dot feature. And this is a simple feature file. All this does is it basically has a step to log in and then to check if a category is displayed. Now, if you notice one thing here, I have uh, multiple categories listed under the particular step. So I don't have, uh, first of all, this is not a scenario outline and hence there can't be any examples. So the way this scenario will execute is the browser will launch, the user will log in once. However, the user will go through all the different pet category. That is, this single step will be executed for four different sets of data. That's about the feature file here. Let's go ahead and look at the implementation of this particular step. So this is the same uh, step definition, whatever is uh, present in the feature file, the same uh, word age. And over here, into the method, we are actually passing a data table. So Cucumber provides us with the data table object. So this data table object can be basically derived into different forms of data structures. So if I say arg1 dot, you can see here that when we are uh, getting this data table object, we can get it in a form of a list or in a form of map. So different types of data structures we can derive this into. So it all depends on the data that's coming in. So in this uh, simple example, we just have a list of pet categories. We just have uh, different uh, values of pet categories that are grouped into a list. So in order to derive this from the data object, I'll be collecting this as a list object of type string. And finally, I'm just going to put it in a loop so that it can execute the same step for different sets of data. Now also, instead of uh, executing all the features, uh, I will only execute this particular feature. So let me, before that, let me just uh, call this feature as something else. Probably say data table example. And uh, in order to just execute this single feature file, I'll go back to my runner and provide the name of the feature file. So now let me go ahead and build this. So what will happen is the application will launch and uh, the user will log in once. However, the different pet categories will be listed. So let me build this. So we see the user will log in once. However, see different pet categories were displayed. So this is the advantage of using the data tables. That is in order to view, in order to execute uh, single steps with multiple sets of data, uh, we have this advantage. 
Now let's go ahead and uh, look at the report also. And as expected, only the data table uh, scenario got executed. And here you can see that uh, login step executed once. And this is the data table essentially, uh, different uh, values for which this particular step ran. And the corresponding screenshot. So here it's showing the transition between the steps or transition between different data values rather. That's it for this lecture folks. To summarize, in this section, we learned important concepts of Cucumber like scenario, scenario outline and uh, examples. We all also learned about background and data tables. With this, uh, important concepts of Cucumber were covered and we also saw how seamlessly Cucumber integrates with the Serenity BDD framework.